Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a really long time since I've done a sit down video. Um, today I'm gonna be sharing more about my keto lifestyle and my 22, now 23 pound weight loss since the week before Thanksgiving. Okay, I get so many questions on my keto lifestyle, what my macros are, what my calories are in a day. So I'm gonna wrap it all up here in a video. And what is keto? How do I sustain it? Why do I do it? All of the things. So we're just gonna hop right in. Okay, so what's keto? What is the ketogenic diet? Um, I'm just going off my phone here so <laughs> I can give you guys accurate descriptions of exactly what keto is. The ketogenic diet is a high fat, adequate protein, low carbohydrate diet and um, forces the body to burn fats rather than carbohydrates. Now, I like bounce back and forth between keto, where my, my, hats, my hats, my fats are higher, um, and more of a, like a low carb. So what I try to focus on is where my body hits ketosis. Ketosis is where your body is burning fats instead of carbohydrates to fuel your body. And when you're burning fats, you're burning that excess stored fat in your body, okay? I am by no means a healthcare professional. Please, please check with your PCP, your healthcare go-to before you do anything to your own diet because everybody is different, every body is different. This is just what works really well for me. This combination, this combination I'm about to share with you is just what works for me and my body. All right, with that being said, um, I also intermittent fast with keto. Now keto, I plug my own um, macros into my fitness pal. Um, that is what I use to track all of my food. The reason why I like my fitness pal is because it has the most versatile options for food when you're entering them. It has food from like out to eat, like fast food restaurants, or like generally has the most I've found as far as food for tracking. Um, I'm trying to get my nutrition pulled up here. Okay, so for the keto macros, um, mine are 5% carbs, 70% fats, 25% proteins. No, that is keto, um, having a large amount of fats in your diet. Um, like I said, I do bounce back and forth between it being more so low carb versus keto. The only difference between the two is the fats and protein percentages. So I kind of customized my own. I've been doing keto off and on for the past six years. Um, I did low carb before I had my daughter um, and got to like my lowest weight ever. And then I gained 100 pounds with my daughter because like pregnancy is just very hard on my body. And I lost about 60 pounds of that, got pregnant with my son, gained 60 pounds, lost 60 pounds again, okay? And kind of gained back 10-ish pounds after I had him. So I had this like 50 pounds of extra fluff hanging on like my body after like having my daughter. Even though I lost all of my pregnancy weight with Riker, with Kaya, I just had extra fluff. So I wanted to start my weight loss journey after having him. I waited until after I was done breastfeeding because I just, I hang on to my body weight when I breastfeed. I'm going to say this, that fed is best when it comes to feeding your baby. Um, I just wanted to push myself to see how far I could get in nursing and I made it. I made it about six months between pumping and breastfeeding and I didn't lose any extra weight than what I had gained with Riker when I was pregnant. So I stopped breastfeeding because my supply was dwindling and I was really ready to make that change in my body and knowing that I couldn't really lose the weight while breastfeeding and my supply was dwindling anyways, it was a really hard decision for, for me to make. And I switched over to formula and to be honest with you, once I switched over to formula, I felt so much better. I felt like I had so much more freedom and that I could work out and I wouldn't have to worry about my supply dropping, all of these things, all this mental stress that went along with breastfeeding. I felt so much better. You're supposed to love love breastfeeding and I do I do love breastfeeding but when it came to pumping I had to do that because at the time I was still working out like outside of the home um, so I go to my dog is down here sneezing and walking around um, yes I know are you such a needy boy that is a needy boy oh oh just nope don't do that don't do that okay 
So once I switched over to formula, I just I felt so much better, I had so much more freedom, and I was able to lose that weight that I wanted to lose. Now, this was back, so I really started kicking it up last December. Um, I'd been trying to kind of work out, and I was cutting out some carbs, and I just kind of like yo-yoed. Um, and then come January, I took it a little bit more seriously. I lost 10 pounds. And then um, like during the summertime, I went to Weight Watchers because I wanted to try and eat more normal foods because carbs are not a bad thing. And I say that all the time. Carbs aren't a bad thing. I just find that my body reacts the best to low carb and keto. Um, and then I started, like during that Weight Watchers journey, I started to incorporate anti-inflammatory foods and I was trying to be dairy free, gluten free, all the things because I have like eczema and sensitive skin. So I was trying to eliminate some of those more like inflammatory foods, um, which I've, had such an amazing journey with so far. Um, unfortunately, the one thing I cannot cut out is dairy. I have a really hard time cutting out cheese. Um, I have no problem cutting out milk. I now drink oat milk, even on keto. I just make sure the oat milk I consume is only in my coffee and is a low amount of carbs. So um, the only thing I struggle with, so like sour cream and um, cheese, it's, those are definitely my struggles. Um, and I still like to have heavy creamer half and half in my coffee once in a while. So I'm slowly but surely working on eliminating the dairy. Oh, and butter too. Butter is, it's, it, that one's not as hard because I can replace a lot of the like cooking with butter. I can replace it with like avocado oil, but those are the things that I'm trying to work on currently. Um, but as I've, as I've like been through this health journey, I've found that my brain is much less foggy, I feel better, I have more energy doing keto and the anti-inflammatory process. So I like eating the anti-inflammatory foods. So, which is a lot easier to do when you're on keto because a lot of the foods you're allowed to have on keto are not inflammatory, if that makes sense. Bringing it back to the end of summer, I stopped Weight Watchers because I kind of yo-yoed back and forth, like five to 10 pounds, I'd like lose it and then I'd gain it and then I'd lose it and then I'd gain it and like, I live in Minnesota and we go to the lake like every weekend. So of course I'm having like some white claws and some beer and like hanging out like at the like we're on the bonfire at night after the kids go to bed. It's like what we do. And I feel like that was a lot of the reason why I couldn't lose the weight. But now I probably have drinks like once a month. Um, and when I do have drinks, I make sure that they are keto friendly. So like still having my claws, like my, my seltzer is my favorite seltzer. Um, flavor wise is press. I love press seltzers. Um, and I just found a new one as well that I really like. I can't remember the brand of it, but I just make sure that the carbs are super low. Um, I will be sharing a couple of keto drinks and foods and things like that in some videos coming up. I'm making some keto margs, which I'm going to share that recipe over on my TikTok tonight and a keto like champagne drink, like kind of not a mimosa, but just like a fancied up champagne drink because I need my champagne to have a little splash of something in there. So I'm going to show you a little trick that I got. Um, anyway, I, I only have drinks like once a month. And recently, I would say about a month ago, when I really kicked it up, so that week before Thanksgiving, I was like, you know what? I am going to really focus in on my weight loss. So I did three things. I stayed on my keto, okay? I cut my calories to 1,500 calories because the biggest and most important thing to losing weight is being in a calorie deficit. No matter what kind of diet you are on, a calorie deficit is the most important. Um, so again, keto, calorie deficit, so I'm at 1500 calories, and then I combined it with intermittent fasting. So I fast on a 16-8 schedule, which means I do not eat for 16 hours of the day, and I have an eight hour eating window approximately. So I try to push myself to noon because I, I'll have dinner at like five and have a snack at like 7.30, 8 o'clock. But by eight o'clock, I am done eating. If I start to eat earlier, okay? So say like, cause some days I am starving in the morning. Like maybe I'm getting my period, like whatever. Hormonal stuff, I'm starving in the morning or hungover. Okay, I will break my fast at 10 
and then I just make sure that I'm done eating by 6 p.m. So all of my meals get pushed up. Um, that has worked very well for me. I track everything that I put in my mouth on my fitness pal and now it's just become i've become more of like a creature of habit so i know how many carbs and calories etc are in certain items um the biggest the biggest thing for me is weighing my food out so making sure that the amounts that i'm putting into my fitness pal are truly honestly the amounts that i'm putting into my mouth um so i have a food scale and i will use that to weigh out my wings because it's like one of my go-to's on keto i have wings for lunch almost every single day um even when it comes to like cream cheese i love cream cheese and green peppers it's like one of my go-to's um but i will make sure that i weigh out my cream cheese on the scale um and then same with any kind of like meat so say we're having roast beef for dinner i will make sure i weigh it out like everything i just make sure i weigh it out so that i have an exact measurement going into my fitness pal helps me track those calories a lot better um and then i will i just recently got an apple watch so that i can cancel out like my steps so if i'm burning calories or exercising maybe i need a little bit more to eat for that day um because i have worked out so that is synced with my fitness pal my apple watches and my like exercising and my steps are synced with that so that it shows me how many calories i've burned from walking and from working out um so that if i need it like an extra snack or two i can figure that in so nice um but some of my go-to's so i hope like that in a nutshell okay that in a nutshell is what i do i intermittent fast until noon every single day and i am done eating by 8 p.m usually by 6 or 7 i'm done eating um and then my calories i keep at 1500 and i just focus on my net carbs and which is about 20 to 30 net carbs per day um and then my fats i just make sure that a lot of the fats that i'm incorporating i try to do a lot of guacamoles a lot of nuts um i have been doing um a little bit more cheese lately um eggs are really really great for um a source of protein and fat um avocado oil is a good one um if you're going to use oils i try to take it a little bit lighter on the oil side um and then of course if you are not dairy free you can incorporate half and half or whipping cream into your diet to kick up your fats there's also things called fat bombs i try not to just like consume like butter in whole the other really great way to um, get your fats in is to have chicken thighs with like the skin on or have a like a fattier meat um, i do try and do a combination of this so if i have chicken thighs for dinner maybe for lunch i'm having like ground turkey keto soup one of my absolute favorites um, or if i have chicken wings for lunch which are high in fats um, i will make sure for dinner that i'm maybe doing a little bit leaner of a meat um, i love burgers like like lettuce wrap burgers those are really really good um, like I said, keto soup is like keto taco soup. That is my um, other go-to. I just repeat the same meals over and over again because I'm a creature of habit and it's so easy. And I've been doing this now consistently um, for the past five weeks. And I'm down officially this morning, I'm down 23 pounds. And I even took off four days for Thanksgiving and I took off four days for Christmas where I ate whatever I wanted to over those four days. I let myself indulge in the treats and the snacks that I had been kind of holding out on. So yeah, it's just, it's really worked for me in my body. I hope that answers a lot of your guys' questions and what some of my go-to meals are. Um, I have iced coffee every single morning um, and I try not to add any half and half or creamer or oat milk, nothing. I try not to add anything to it um, because research has shown that like adding anything to your coffee can break your fast okay um and i love black coffee now iced black coffee i'm not super keen on like hot black coffee but i can drink iced black coffee with a little bit of cinnamon um i don't know if that breaks your fast or not for sure but um i do that's what i do it's usually like black coffee black iced coffee um, and I drink a ton of water during the day a ton and then I take my supplements with my lunch at noon which usually again my lunch is chicken wings with ranch that's what I have almost every single day and then I have a snack in the afternoon which is usually like a green pepper with some pepperoni and cream cheese or like black and cow cheese or 
um, guacamole. I've got guac sitting over here. Um, if I'm trying to be more dairy free that day, I'll just dip it in guac or eat it plain with a little bit of everything bagel seasoning. It's so good. Um, and then for dinner, we just mix it up. We try to just do like meats and vegetables to keep it easier. Um, but I am constantly coming up with new recipes, and so I will share those with you guys here over on Instagram Reels and over on TikTok. It's so easy for me to put like recipes together over on TikTok because they're quick one minute videos where it really just gives you a snapshot of like what that recipe entails. So easy to follow, and I know I get a lot of my ideas from TikTok as well. So if you want more keto eating ideas, head over to my TikTok. I'll have it linked down below. And if you have any questions for me, leave it in the comments down below. I know that this is a super different video for me, but just because I've been getting so many questions in regards to my keto and like exactly what it entails, I had to address those questions and then I'm bringing them here for you guys. I hope that this helped you. I hope this broke it down a little bit more for you. It's so easy, especially when you're using a um, food tracking app like MyFitnessPal. Um, you can see where you're at as far as your macros and your calories every single day. And again, just stick to your low carb foods. And if you need to work more fats in, then you can work more fats in. So when you're first starting out, that is one of my biggest tips for you is just focus on your net carbs, okay? Make sure that you're eating clean. Like I still eat carbohydrates. The carbohydrates I eat, I love vegetables and I think that vegetables are so good for you. Um, and then there's like a lazier or there's like, uh, so I try to eat more of like a clean keto and um, sometimes I'll do more of like a lazy or like they call it dirty keto. So you can have like a low carb tortilla. It's not exactly gluten free, but it still keeps you in ketosis because it's low carb enough. All right, the last thing I wanna leave you guys with in this video is how to calculate your net carbs. That was one detail I forgot um, to include earlier. Net carbs are basically where you take your carbohydrates and you subtract the fiber and that leaves you with your net carbs. For example, you ate 37 grams of carbohydrates today, but you had a total of 10 grams of fiber. Your net carbs for the day were 27. 27 net carbs. And if you're at a goal of 20 to 30 net carbs a day, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Um, so just try eating more high fiber foods. Avocados are like a keto, like mwah, go to. Those are so good. Um, if you're not super keen on avocados, I didn't used to be until I learned how to truly like cook with them besides guac. Um, and one of my go-tos right now, <laughs> one of my go-tos right now is scrambled eggs with half an avocado um, and some sriracha on top. It's so good. And when you're on keto as well, everything bagel seasoning goes on everything, guys. It's so good. Okay. I mean, this is needy boy. He must need to go party outside. Do you need to go party? Is that what's happening? Okay. All right, you guys, that is gonna wrap it up from me for today. Um, again, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you wanna see more keto stuff, I will be uploading once a week, kind of like a cook with me, just to keep it like in the same genre on my channel. Um, I'll be doing a cook with me, but like more so keto cook with me, and then giving you guys weight loss updates during those keto cook with me videos. And then in the meantime, if you wanna see some super quick and easy keto recipes, head on over to my TikTok and Instagram because I upload that stuff every single day for you guys. So anyways, I will see you on Monday for a day in the life vlog. Happy New Year, happy 2021. Thank you for the most amazing year ever. I could be, I'm just like so emotional. This year, this year was a good year, okay? It sucked, it was a good year though, okay? Focus on the positives because they were, will inspire you. If you focus on the negatives, they will consume you. So, gonna leave it there for you guys. Of course, I'm getting emotional. I'm gonna go curl my hair and I'm gonna get ready for some keto marks tonight. Happy New Year's, okay? Bye guys.